This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in New York City. It's fight week, Crawford v Amir Khan. I'm joined by trainer Freddie Roach. How are you doing, Freddie? Pretty good, and you? Good, thank you. Good to be in uh, New York on this big fight week. Um, yeah, you've got Christopher Diaz on the bill. Tell me about him. Christopher is a good little fighter. He uh, trains really hard, a good 26-pounder, and uh, uh, we're in a tough fight with a uh, former Olympian. And um, But I, I think um, my guys are going to pull a big upset. Uh, a lot of people uh, don't think we're in this fight, but we are. Of course, an underdog going into this fight, Shakur Stevenson, uh, hugely rated talent. Um, how do you go about beating Shakur Stevenson? You know, he only has 10 fights and stuff. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, uh, we already spoke about this. We can't beat a guy with 10 fights. You know, we don't belong here. We're, we're going to show the world we belong here tonight. Freddie, um, there was some breaking news yesterday regarding Gerald Miller, failed Avada test. Uh, it looks like the fight with Anthony Joshua is off. Can I get your reaction to that, please? It's so bad for boxing. I mean, you know, the, the, the heavyweights, they, they, they came back so well. And it looked like everything's like going to start working and all the heavyweights are going to start fighting each other. And now it's just like it's so disappointing to see this happen in boxing. And um, hopefully they find someone, uh, 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 another fighter that's good, uh, a high quality fighter that, that's good enough to, to, to fight Joshua. What do you think the punishment for people who get caught um, taking illegal substances should be? Well, I actually think it's maybe attempted murder on, on, their, be on their behalf. I think they should be banned for life. I mean, in track and field and so forth, you get 10 years suspension first time caught and lifetime second time caught. I think the rule isn't strong enough where they, they you know, guy, guys will, will will try to do it. So I think I think it's, I think it should be gone for boxing forever. Freddie, it's a huge fight. Uh, Terence Crawford again, massive favorite going into this fight. What sort of chance do you give Amir Khan though? You know, Amir's a good boxer, and he just if he just goes out there to me and boxes every round, round one, one, one at a time and wins it one at a time, he's very capable. He's got speed, and, and uh, you know, he's got a lot of speed, foot speed, hand speed, and he's still a good boxer, and I think he has a good shot. But, you know, I do pick Crawford as maybe the best fighter in the world today, and he's a well, very complete fighter, and, and uh, Amir, just uh, to me, just has to go out there Win one, one round at, at, at a time and, win, and, and just keep win, win, winning those rounds. Don't get in a, in a slug and fair or a swing contest with this guy because the guy can punch. And, you know, Amir doesn't have a great chin, and I think he, he needs to learn how to protect that chin. And it uh, doesn't seem like he has yet, but he is, he, he's just uh, too game sometimes and he wants to go for it. But hopefully he settles out in this fight and boxes one round at a time, and uh, he'll do well. If it doesn't go Khan's way, do you think that could be his last fight? It could be. I mean, he's, he's getting close, and um, it could be his last fight, yes. Freddie, who are you currently working with? I have 21 pro fighters right now, and I have some very good prospects coming up, and I have some real young kids, and uh, I have some real kids. Uh, you know, Elvis Rodriguez is my number one uh, project right now. Elvis, 140 pounder from Dominican Republic and he's a great prospect and he's 2-0 and as a pro right now. I know he's still young but we, we get a long way to go. Just the last one Freddie. Um, it was a while ago now but Wilder rejected a hundred million dollar deal from DAZN, a reported hundred million dollars. Um, do you think it was right to do that in your opinion? Uh, you know, the, the, the money issues I, I don't get involved with. I, I, I just train fighters. <laughs> That's fair enough, Freddie. That's fair enough. Listen, I appreciate your time on IFL TV. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I just say uh, all the fans out there, uh, best of luck, and um, I hope it's a good one. Thanks. Thank you, Freddie.